a story, I'm trying to tell it, just like you are. I just ain't as cool as you are. Yeah. Take a picture. I am taking a picture. Oh, I'm taking a picture. Hit that car. Why are you following me for? Why are you following me for? Yeah. Why? Why? Why are you following me? I was born to be a world leader. Made everybody think he's crazy. Oh wait. Crazy. Oh God. <laughs> I've got in me. I am God. Winston Dale Cave, well known in the Instagram truck community, was arrested March 17th, 2022. I had the opportunity to interview him two days before his arrest. This is the hour long interview I had with him. If you guys want a compressed version of this interview, I made a documentary called Boss The Ballad of Winston Cave on my YouTube channel. Winston kind of goes all over the place in this interview, but this interview was requested for the full hour-long interview to be released. Just a little bit of an update from last video. Winston is still in FBI custody, but he is now at the Federal Medical Center in Fort Worth, Texas. No updates on the release date, no updates on the court date. Follow me on Instagram so you guys can get more up-to-date stuff as things roll out. I'll keep you guys updated. If you guys are new here, I'm Tyler Hewitt. This is Hewitt Industries. I built the world's first ever 6.0 Power Stroke S550 Mustang. So if you guys are into that kind of thing, hit that subscribe button because there's plenty more videos to come. Out. You know, that's the truth. You know, you can have it however you want, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But you're a good one ever. I'm Winston Cave, uh, Winston Dell Cave. I was born, uh, that I know of, December 6, 1977. Uh, birth mother was uh, Sharon Welch. My birth father was Gary, Gary Davis Cave. And uh, anyway, I know we're going to be talking doing a lot of stuff, so I might come off a little bit nervous. And uh, yep. I'm excited, you know, it's an exciting time for me, but I'd like to eat first before we get into talking. But. Uh, on it for the for the camera and stuff like that. I want to show everybody I do pray before I eat. You know, I try to try to do every time. I don't always do it. Um, I catch myself halfway through eating. I'm like, oh man, this is so good. And I'm thanking God. You know what I mean? Like, oh thanks God. I'm sorry I didn't pray before. You. Good. Um, anyway, I'd like to pray out even on camera. So, you know, the Father who aren't in heaven, blessed be my name. Ask you just to and all the all the angels in the universe just bless this food so that we nourish my body. Cleanse my soul, you know, all the nourish that I need through the day, and use it as, use it as like an, an extra power, just to heal the body, even though it's been so poisoned by the other things that have gone on in this world. Uh, just pray that you just bless, bless everything in, in my life and everybody else's life out there that's needing prayer and blessings. Just scratch name and pray. Amen. Thank you. It's already done the introduction. Yeah, you already did your introduction. We just ate, so I hope I don't have food in my mouth. Oh, I don't think I'll be able to see it on camera. Oh, okay. Are you recording? Are you good? Right. recording. So say whatever you want. I've got one one bar of battery, so we'll just make it quick. Good, good. So I don't have to do an introduction anymore because it's already there. Yes, let's start. Um, so if there's one thing you could say to the world, what would it be? Well, I mean, I'd like to tell them a little bit about how I've come to this situation where I'm at right now. And uh, it's important to me that people don't judge by it. You know, a book by its cover, okay? Um, I've been pushed around, pushed around, pushed around my entire adult life, you know what I mean? And uh, in my child life, I was, we didn't, and there was nothing handed to us, you know what I mean? We, we had to earn, yeah, we had to work to earn it, work to earn it, you know, that's how we raised. I think that's most American people raised that way. And, um, and, that's, and that's been a blessing as far as like learning certain skills and things like that. So, you know, basically, things started falling apart for me. You know, it started off with my marriages, you know, and then it, it turned into, uh, you know, one marriage. I, I don't know how it happened, but I was just blessed with another wife like that. You know what I mean? Like, one third, hor most horrible thing, I didn't think I was going to be able to walk, stand back up. And, and the Lord put somebody in my life. Well, that's what I thought. You know, but there again, it helped, helped straighten me out, got back up. And then everything was going really good in my life, I thought. I felt like I had everything, and but yet there's still something empty there. And I prayed and prayed and prayed, Lord, you know, please, you know, I don't know what it is. You know, I work my butt off. I'm a great father to my kids. I coach all their sports. I devote a husband. I'm, I pick them up from school or daycare, or whatever, you know. And I'm doing everything that I can. I'm like, why? Why am I still feeling empty? Why is there something, there's a hole somewhere that's not being filled? 
And he finally answered me, man. He, he said, he said, look, son. He goes, he's because you don't, you don't pray to me. You know what I mean? You're not, you're not, uh, you're not giving me your your issues and praying to me. You know what I mean? And I said, yeah, you know, it, it took me a long time to get to this point. You know, I'm on my hands and knees. I said, yes, I know. I said, but you got to understand, you know, I, I, I smoke medical marijuana. I cuss and I drink, you know. And he started laughing. He goes, son, he goes, I'm not going to hold you back on that stuff. He goes, first of all, he goes, let me clear that up. He goes, as far as drinking, he goes, I don't care if you drink. He goes, just don't get drunk in it. Drunk in it means like, don't get over, over, you can't control yourself, you know what I mean? So, and, and, and everybody's different. You know what I mean? I understand everybody's different. Everybody's got different levels and stuff like that. I don't even drink, I haven't been drinking at all. You know what I mean? I've been going through this last deal, I don't want, I want alcohol, I don't want anything, you know what I mean? Like that. Because I want a clear head, you know what I mean? And um, that, and, you know, it's, just, it's not something that I desire right now. You know, I may have a mixed drink here and there. That's about it. But the thing is that, don't get drunk man. So what do you tell this this is my words. Now it may be different for everybody else, okay? Because my words to God, to, to God. My God is the creator above the creator of this world we live in. Okay? That's my God. That's who I raise, that's who I pray to in, in Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's name, all heavens above, that's who I pray to. Okay? So that's what I'm talking about. I don't know who your God is or anybody else. And that's not even else deal. You, gotta, you don't have to have the same God as I do as long as you're doing the right things, you know what I mean? Just know that there's somebody above. And so uh, <laughs> anyway, so I said, well, he said as far as uh, the, the, the marijuana, he goes, son, I'll put that there for you. He goes, it's natural. This, this, my, this is how God answered me, okay? He said, I'll put that for you. It's natural. He goes, I don't want you taking any of those pills and stuff like that. Those those are killing people. It's a, it's a trap. That's exactly what he told me. He said, that's there for you. All the anxiety that you go through, all the PTSD that you go through through life and stuff like that, you need that for that. He goes, and it's, other, it's got other you know, benefits and stuff like that. We all know that, okay? But that was for me, okay? The way I took it, it's what he said to me. And he said, as far as the cussing, he goes, son, sticks and stones, sticks and stones. And they break my bones, but words may never hurt me. Word for word, that's what he told me, okay? And, it, and it, everybody's different, but that's how I related to it. You see what I'm saying? He, he told me how I needed to hear it, okay? But, you know, I know I've got a bad mouth, but you know what I mean? I've had a bad mouth, and unfortunately, I was raised with a bad mouth, you know what I mean? And you were too, everybody in this world is raised with a bad mouth. Yet now we have our choices, whether we use it or not. Um, now, depending on where you were raised and, and what family you were in or what area you were in or, or what even what level you are in society, it's gonna depend on how you talk, okay? You gotta remember, I came from nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and every time I tried to get back up, I got brought back down. So I get up to that maybe that next level of society where I wasn't talking like that and then I got right back down down on the ground like literally I got videos everything people smash me on the ground you know what I mean George Floyd that next I have, I've had knees in my back I've had seven minute assaults choked out unconscious four or five times may have died then I don't know but I always got back up and I always got back up screaming louder screaming louder for the Lord but you know what I stopped all the worrying about how I was gonna say this or say that because I'm, I'm listening to everybody else Oh, you can't say a cuss word and say God's name in vain. You don't, you don't tell me what I can and can't do first. You don't control me. And if God has a problem with it, he can deal with it. You see what I'm saying? There's nobody on this world that controls you like that. Or that controls me for sure. I didn't put everything together until recently, okay? It's taken me a long time to get where I got. But I'm not here to win over population anymore. That's not what this is about, okay? I went through my own trials and tribulations because they were trials and tribulations that were set forth by, by above, okay? The evil and everything that happened to me, I've got a whole story, okay? There, there's been five or six different things that are just mind blowing, like how that happened. How come you can't get no help? There's a reason behind it. And the reason is because our world has been controlled for many, many years. And whether people want to believe it or not, you're gonna find out, okay? I'm trying to, I'm trying to awaken the people that, that, that are my friends, the people that actually do care and love me. You know, I have a little bit of a, of a following, you know what I mean? But even that has been controlled. You know what I'm saying? I got 45,000 people, 50,000 people on my, on my Instagram. Um, and I can go live right now and only get 150 people on there because it's shadow banned. I mean, you know, it's just, so I'm, I'm changing all my stuff. I'm saying changing to a non-biased uh, platform. And, uh, and I want to get paid, you know what I mean? And that's, and that's okay. Most people are like, oh, you can't sit, talk about God and get paid. No, 
my Lord and Savior, he told me, you go get yours. You deserve it. You earn it. Okay? All this stuff about, oh, you, you don't ask for this, don't ask for that. You know what? I'm going to tell everybody this right now. And they ain't gonna, they, it's going to have a hard time with Christmas. This is, this is my problem. Okay, the Lord told me. He said, Winston. And that's how, this is how okay, it was brought to me. Okay? All my trials. And I'm, I'm, I'm not going to go too much in depth there. Okay? I'm going to read some stuff to y'all. I'm going to tell y'all who I am, where I came from. Okay? I won these. Can you see these in there? I won these. These are all medals. These, these are medals from above. Okay? This one's from an ex. Okay? From one of my exes. And I keep it because it's still the Jesus, it's the Jesus Fisherman deal. Okay? These are, these are all medals. And actually, I'm, I'm, that is, that is, that's my medal from her. Okay? Regardless, she's part of the story too. This, this I won right here from defeating Satan. This I got from Satan. Satan gave me this. this. And you can tell it's got the Satan. You can see it's got the fangs in it right there. You know what I mean? Those are fangs. I got, I, I got this from Satan because Satan loved me. He, he, she, my Satan was a she. Okay, everybody, everybody may be different. My Satan was a she, okay? Satan was inside a female that was attracted to me, okay? In different ways. I got this from her. This was Satan. This was before I defeated her. 30 grand on it, okay guys? 20 grand, 25, 20, 25 to 30 grand. So what I've spent on it. Oh, you just pulled stickers off. Yeah, I just pulled stickers off. Pulling the whole wrap off, putting a new wrap on it. It cost me 10 grand, dude. And I know there's guys out there do it for like three or four grand. That's fine, great. You know, that would've been great if you know me. But you couldn't, you couldn't know me because people were holding you back from me, okay? It's fine. A lot of y'all jumped on that bandwagon. Make fun of me doing all this stuff, it's okay. You're gonna get judged, okay? You, you are judged. I'll go to that show. I'm doing it all in one. I had, a, I had a shop, man, that was being very kind to me. They came in, you know, I had a muffler that needed to be, you know, uh, a little bit of welded on. I, I still needed to, to clean it. I went through some, some problems at home during all this. It was, it was a week of hell, what it was. But the uh, the way there, I did my live feeds. I'm excited. I knew, I knew there ain't no way in heck this guy was gonna win. <laughs> I'm gonna beat him with his own truck. You know, that's what that was the whole competition. I was like, man, I'm gonna beat you with your own truck that you built because I'm gonna build it better. <laughs> and he couldn't handle it. And I don't, I don't, I don't know that it was him, but I guarantee you that it was the same entity. It was the same people it comes from. And you know who you are. <laughs> same people, same group. Because that's the only way you survive the way y'all are. Okay. Same people, same group. Whether it was you or him or whatever, it's together. Y'all, y'all are y'all's own one. Okay? They tried killing me, man. They had 18 wheelers sitting there. I'm driving about, I'm driving down this straight, straight highway right there in Conroe. Just driving straight, driving straight. I'm, I'm live feeding. And, there, and there's, there's like three to three to 500 people watching it live. Okay? Watching it live. And this, this 18 wheeler, he sat back, it's like a, it's a rider truck, rider 18 wheeler. He sat back halfway, I mean, two, three hundred feet from the, from the stop sign. Stopped. And I see him, and my first immediate thought was, oh, he must be doing his books, because that's what 18 wheelers do whenever they're saying. Because my, my lives last night. Oh, Daytona does? Yeah, probably Nation Mine. Mm. That's what <laughs> that's what's saying. He says, make sure make sure the reporter isn't the POPOs. <laughs> he says, looking, they're looking for you. Police are looking for you because of your threats last, that you made last night on your lives. Praying for you. Who is that? Some people that from that post that I made. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Not working for the police, no, nothing like that. It's all for YouTube, so it's all. Huh? Well, I'm not police or anything like that. So. No, I know. You can record those. I mean, this is what I do. I mean, I'm, I'm natural. I'm not trying to hide anything from anybody. I'm trying to check my messages because people are telling me that, hey, they got something out on you. The cops are coming for you. I knew they, they've been coming for me since I was born. However, I was born not to be governed. See, that's what. So people don't understand that this has been writ. <laughs> that's, what, that's what they, I heard this, I have messengers that, that tell me stuff. And uh, they, get, they get direct messages from above to, to, to tell me, to talk, because I can't talk. I can't necessarily just communicate some things, okay? Certain times, it's taking me a while. Now, I, I'm learning, I'm just, I'm learning just like, just like I'm trying to teach y'all. We can learn together, you know? That's the that's point of all this. We all want to happen in the room. So trying to so this is my, some, some people are supportive, okay? But I got a lot of support out there. I'm trying to get away from the negative and hate, okay? But the point of the whole deal is that that, that officer threw my, threw, he came back there and he threw, threw the check, the, the ticket, the check, <laughs> check to them. <laughs> he threw his check in my window. My truck's up, up on its side, upside down. Crushed in, my neck's broke. Can't move, barely. And uh, comes back and he throws my, my, he throws my license 
and the ticket that he wrote for me into the cab of the truck and walked off. I, I don't even know what the ticket was. I think it was failure to control speed or some shit like that. Okay. Um, then I go to the hospital. There's a whole other deal. There's a whole story behind all this stuff, and, and I don't really care to go to depth with all of it right now, but... Um, basically, it's just another thing that I just completely got screwed out of. I mean, I had a $200,000 truck. Not that that truck was probably worth that much because it wouldn't put together right, you know? But with the truck and accessories and everything on there, it's probably over $200,000, okay? And the time for somebody to actually custom build it right, okay? My wife, which is ex-wife now, had changed the insurance company a week or two prior to this happening. It was all a plan, you see? The plan is a plan because it wasn't her insurance people. You know, it wasn't it wasn't her insurance. I'm paying a lot more money for my insurance, and that and that you know, the, she found insurance comes a lot cheaper. Well, yeah, they wanted to pay fifty thousand dollars for a truck that's worth over two hundred grand. Okay, and the truck that I had got an offer for for three hundred grand the day before because of the publicity the truck was getting that I created for it. Not not this guy. It's a publicity I created for it. I started calling in advance for the truck. Okay. I paid 85 grand for it. Put another 20, 25 to 20, 20 to 30 grand in. I don't remember how much exactly, okay? It's been a long time. I don't even care anymore. You know, it ain't about the money, it ain't about the truck anymore. Me. But the story is that it got out there, okay? And then because, because of it, I didn't get to make it to the show. I didn't get to do this and that. And I'm a man. I'm not scared to back down. You know, I mean, I'll, I'll stand up and fight with what I believe, right? You know? So yeah, man, like, it just made me scream a little bit louder, a little bit louder, a little bit louder. But now I ain't got a truck, you know? And then I'm going through a divorce and I'm going through all this stuff, all hit me at the same time. I couldn't figure out why. It's because it was a plan that wasn't designed for me to even succeed. It was a plan against me. And it was also, as I take it now, now I kind of take it as a blessing because it opened my eyes. It was another challenge that I overcome because, again, I'm out there on my hands and knees begging and pleading, you know, to the Lord. And I tell them, baby, I'm like, you can't hold me down here. It wasn't made to be on the ground. I knew there was a reason for it. I just didn't know why. But I always turn to the Lord, man. I always turn to the Lord. I pray to the Lord. I pray to the Lord. I pray to the Lord. Just keep giving me the strength. Give me the strength. Give me the clear eyes. I don't know what's going on here, Lord. Finally, finally, I, I just tired of anxiety. I tired of all this stuff. Tired of what people thought and stuff like that. And I finally was able to just let it over the Lord. And boom, all my anxiety went away. I wouldn't say things started getting better then because there's always other more challenges. I didn't get over my challenges until just a couple weeks ago, three weeks ago. You know, so it's not not like I've been doing everything right. You know what I mean? I still have my challenges. I had challenges yesterday that I faced. One thing I can tell y'all though is because of everything that I've been through and what I was born for and the purpose of me being here in life is, and I never could find my full fulfillment is because I was born of a certain bloodline that, that most people don't have. Nobody has what I have. And there's a royalty bloodline of the creator from this world. This is all planned. It's in the stars. And that's what my Lord and Savior keeps saying. Look at the stars. It's, you're, you're in the stars. In a proof of anybody knows how to read the stars? They'll know that you're the leader. Also told, he also told me that you have a certain blood strand that nobody else has. Because of all that going together, I currently now have the Holy Spirit. It's a soul in my soul, not not you know. I mean, like oh, you, you, you know, we all we all you know because we're, we're God's children, we're God's child. You know, we all have you know God in us, Jesus in us, and the Holy Spirit, right? You have it in your faith, you have it in your spirit. You don't have their soul in you. Okay, that's the point. That's the whole point. You don't have their soul. I possess the soul. Okay, I possess the soul because I was meant to be here. Okay, I was meant to go through the challenges and overcome the challenges. Had I not, then y'all would you wouldn't have a world. The world's, the world's turning, and uh, it's got to change. You've been under, you've been under uh, slavery. I don't know, fifteen thousand years, fifteen hundred years. I don't really know. I, the, the message isn't coming clear to me, and I don't have time to research this. That part's not important to me. But the reason why all your cries and stuff haven't been heard, and and, and 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 a lot of things, a lot of prayers hadn't been answered, the world hadn't changed, is because your world has been under. Uh, I don't even know what you call it. Titanian government is what it's been. It's just, they, they basically 
hijacked planet Earth. What they did is they hijacked the moon. The moon controls the Earth. Okay? All the controls for Earth is in the moon. Do you believe it or not? You always heard that, oh, the moon controls. Yes, it does control. It controls the waves, it controls the water. Everything is controlled by the moon. Because of the evilness that has manifest on this planet, the universe, the galaxy, does not want the toxins of that evil entity out into their space. So they have put a force field over this earth. There's nobody that's going outside that force field. You see, you, you, you do your own research. Watch a rocket, watch it right, you go straight up, right? And then eventually it does like this, and then it goes ee, like that. It never went out that force field, okay? They've been trying for years. I'm gonna tell you one thing, you can, you can do your own research on it. You don't believe me, you can do your own research on it. Uh, Hillary Clinton, she made a comment. And one of her, one of their deals, you know, she, they think they're joking around, right? And I, and I don't know if it was if it was one of the deals where they were uh, they like roasting somebody, you know how they do the roast and stuff like that. And it's funny that you, you back, go back to this day. I don't know what it was. You, got, you know, you can probably Google it and find it. Maybe not after I say something. <laughs> I'll delete that shit. Uh, but there's a there's a video of her saying uh, making a comment. To somebody she goes, and it, it was about SpaceX. What it was about NASA, SpaceX, all this stuff. And it said something like, I know all these years, you know, we've been trying to, we've been trying to crack that shell. We haven't done it yet. Even though we've tried thousands and thousands of times, one day it'll happen. That's the shield she's talking about. She's talking about the force field shield that's over this earth. The force field shield that's over this earth to keep the toxins from the evil entity out into space. I swear to God, look it up. It's biblical, biblical, biblical. And everybody that don't want to believe me and follow me, that's fine. You're not going to make it here in this world. Okay? I was chosen because I was born. I was born for my father. Your father too. He was your creator too. One thing that he's telling me, he wants his land back. Okay? He wants he wants his land back. He's tired of whoever's trying to control this. And I don't even know who all you are. I mean, I know I know who has it, but you ain't gonna have it very long. He wants his land back. One one biblical thing that you can you can look at, it's always been on this world. He who plants a seed in that field, harvests his field, is the owner. My father planted the seeds here first. Therefore, since I'm the only living in the flesh person with my father, I now own the world. All my trials and tribulations I went through, this greatest gift that my father gave me was the control of this world. He gave me this planet. The planet you're living on. If you're on this planet right here and your believer is the holy, holier than I that created this world, that's my father. Not just that he gave me that world, he lives within me. Okay? I had a very uh, biblical thing or a very uh, emotional thing for me. One time I was telling some people about that truck. See, it was a 2015 and I had a daughter. She's, she was born in 2015. And I had another truck that was born, you know, I had a motorcycle that was 2006. And those, my, my twins were born in 2006. I mean, every every vehicle that I had had a meaning. You know, I was going to give that to them whenever they, whenever I die or whenever I, I get older and they're old enough to appreciate it. That was going to be passed down to my kids. And somebody made a comment about my truck. And I said, I said, well, I said, man, I, said, I got all these vehicles. I said, it works out perfect. I said, this is 2015. She's born 2015. I said, that's, that's her truck. And the lady's like, oh, that's so stupid. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have a truck like that for a three-year-old. And that wasn't the point. It's just, I'm just saying, like, lifeline. That would be her truck. That would be something I had bought in her, her year that she would have it. And that truck would be better, bigger and better than it ever has in the day I bought it. That was my point. And she said, oh, I wouldn't do that. That's ridiculous. I lifted my arm up in the ground. And this, this is whenever I felt the Holy Spirit, God, and everything in me. I lift my ground, my hand up in the ground to the top. And I said, I die for my children. And at that moment right there, something struck down from, from, from the heavens above. It picked me up and lifted me off my, off my feet. And I went like this. I thought, oh, man, I, 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 I thought I was going to fall. I hurt myself, right? And I didn't. I, I floated like this to the ground, real nice and easy. And then, and then when I hit the ground, I was like, oh, shit. And then I, there's two people that witnessed that. I said, oh, man, did y'all see that? Did y'all see that? And they go, hell yeah, you drunk motherfucker. You just fell. And then I didn't fall. That was the moment that I was blessed with the Holy Spirit. I was blessed possibly with God at that time. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really don't know everything. I know he lives within me fully now because I've, I've earned that right, okay? Um, you, if you know anything about biblical stuff or whatever, or, or any kind of, uh, uh, you go back in time whenever, the like ancient Egyptians, Egyptians and stuff like that. If you're a high, high uh, leader, something like that, they take your soul when you die and they put that soul, and yeah, it happens. I, I never believed it until it happened to me, okay? They take that soul from, from that leader, and they, they put that soul into your oldest son. The oldest living son of a blood uh, 
Right here, the house and stuff. I'm in here. It's a blood, uh, royalty blood. Which means I guess you have to do royal marriage, you have to have everything. Not only that, you have to have a soulmate to make that work. And the soulmate isn't just pick. You can't pick a soulmate. And that's why you go back to, uh, was it American Meat? No, that <laughs> wasn't in it. The song with uh, Eddie Murphy, or that movie with Eddie Murphy. Coming to America. Coming to America. You know, this all this stuff coming back to me because that was that's you know that's royalty stuff that I remember growing up watching. Yeah, coming to America. He went out to America to find his find his woman to marry. There's a reason why they weren't just gonna let him just marry anybody because it has to be a gift from above. Okay, they, they they're the ones because that because that person you marry is already in the stars. See that you already you're already in history. People don't realize that. You, know, you are a star. You probably start off as a star. You, you, if you don't, if you don't believe you make it, then you probably you can lose that star. Well, I was probably a star at one time. You know what I mean? And then I became a planet. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, actually, most people don't know this. Um, however, it was no matter. My ex-wife was was my soulmate. It was divine. We were divine marriage. I mean, it, we both. I mean, it, I had to go to the, the council about this stuff. Up above. They had to rewrite some things because I chose the right way and not the wrong way. She was also, not only was she a, a star or whatever, she was also a, a, an element of this world. She was heir. So no matter where I went, she was always going to be with me. I'm the element of fire, which hence the phoenix, phoenix rising from the ashes. Okay? I don't make this stuff up. It's in the history. Okay? I'm now upgraded <laughs> to air and finish because I don't want that evil back. I don't want that evil back. So what the Lord did is He said, "Winston, all this stuff you, you went above and beyond everything. These, all these, all these medals that I've won and everything like that. This is my eagle, my eagle ring. This is my eagle spirit ring that guides me. I'm not. I'm no longer able to uh, to go off of free will. If I start going off of free will, this ring will disappear off my finger, giving me nowhere else to do but to, to stop." You get the message brought to me. Now I'm not making this up. Okay, I'm not have places I want to go and stuff like that, and I can try to go there. But if I try to go there on my own free will and it ain't what's supposed to go, things are gonna happen to me where I have to stop. Okay. So anyway, there is an important message I wanted to read to y'all, and it has to do with the things rising above, and it has to do with where I'm going, where we're going with this earth right now, and where what the problems that it's going through. Our earth has to change to a different a different dimension. Um, it no longer can stay in a 3D dimension. The problem with that is, is that if we keep it in a 3D dimension, or no, no, I'm sorry. If you can't change to a 3D dimension, uh, 4D dimension, you stay on a 3D dimension, you're going to see things come back alive on this earth that, that are going to scare you, they're going to eat you, they're, I mean, it's scary. I'm talking about things coming from the ground. They even, they've even told me that dinosaurs could possibly come back alive. It just happens, okay? It's very important that they change change what has to happen here. And I don't know the, all the details on it right now because I'm oh, so overwhelmed with everything else. I haven't had a chance to sit there and get it channeled to me. You know what I mean? I haven't been able to sit down and sleep right, eat right, and, and, and bring in the information. They have expanded my mind and my brain to be able to bring in, they opened up my mind and brain to 300% more capability than what it was. Okay? I have uh, the, Holy, the Holy Spirit that's going through me is cleansing every part of my, my body. I mean, it goes up and down of my arm. I can feel it whenever it's in a certain area. It, 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 the area right there, it gets numb. It, I can feel it go up here, and you can touch my skin right there, it's numb. It's the weirdest thing ever. But I know it's a blessing, you know, so I'm not, I don't freak out about it anymore. Um, anyway, I have, I have an important thing that I want to read y'all, and I, I want to go, because I feel like there's more, more stuff that I could be doing right now, and I, and I don't want to share everything that I have, because I just want to get some word out there. Y'all, but I do have something very important that I wanted to reach y'all, and I want to close with a, uh, with a prayer um, that has been a little bit rewrit. <laughs> so it is what it is. Excuse me, man. I, I, I get this stuff channeled to me, man, and I'm driving and I'm trying to write it, so it's hard for me to read it sometimes. But uh, one thing that I want y'all to know, and this is very important, because whenever, whenever I'm trying to come out here, and I was trying to come out here real holier than I, you know what I mean? Like, oh my gosh, you know, not only not only was I granted this planet, okay, I'm not Jesus, okay, I'm not Jesus. Now Jesus lives inside me just like He lives inside you, His brother, sister, whatever you want to call it, okay. 
I'm Winston Cave. You know, and you're gonna see me come out, and, and it's it's even more than that. I don't, I don't know what your your uh, audience grabs to this, but I don't want to use any profanity in this because some people aren't gonna like the profanity that I use out there. And that's okay because you're judging. If you judge somebody, then then you're not the right person to be here, man. It's non-judgmental. Never was about being judged. It's about you doing the right thing. And if that person isn't doing wrong, in your eyes or whatever, it doesn't matter. Go help that person out. Don't judge them. Help them. Think about that. Don't judge. Help. Okay. So. Like, again, personal and spiritual growth, okay? So the biggest thing about everything that's going on with me is it's very uh, biblical. This is a very biblical thing to me because it's my history, it's, it's my inheritance, it's my everything, okay? But above, they tell me that there's only about 20% of Christians that believe and believe. Christians or religious that even believe in, in the way the world was created, believe in the God of heaven above, uh, that I believe in, okay? They don't care about that 20% anymore. They're done with it because y'all are so stuck up on y'all's own Bible and y'all's own written written stuff that ain't written from the Father, okay? It wasn't never taught right, okay? And the biggest problem with it is because they have also been uh, in captivity. So the world's been in captivity. It's forceful, right? They can't come in and save anybody because of the Tatarian government that's been holding you in captivity, okay? That's why it's all coming out now, okay? Because they no longer can hold it because the world has to change to a different dimension. That's it, okay? Believe me or not, whatever, you're gonna see it, okay? I'm trying to save as many people as I can, but honestly, it's my world, and, and God told me, that's why there was supposed to be another flood. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's, easier, it's easier to flood the world than it is to try to try to change people's minds that's been, they've been born in sin. They've been born, it's filthy. He, this is how, here's how my Lord and Savior, he takes so, so much pride and prestige of, of his children, he don't even want them touching the, the ground that we walk on. It's so filthy. It's filthy and sin. You don't want you eating the food coming out of that ground because it's filthy. It's my Lord and Savior. He's telling me that right now. He's telling me it's filthy. It's nasty. It's disgusting. Your people, our people, everybody here has made it like that. He don't want it. He wants holy ground. He wants you to walk on holy ground. This is the promised land. This is the promised land. The promised land that you're promised. The promised land your ancestors promised. Your grandma, brother, great grandfather, great grandma. This is the promised land. And I got to be the chosen one to help make it the promised land. I get to do all the work with you. And I'm fine with that. I'm, I'm, I'm a builder. I mean, I've got so many qualities, everything. But he's right. I went through this last week of, of trying to preach. I'm so excited about everything. I try to preach and, 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 and uh, get my name out, you know, because they're telling me this is your kingdom. Go get it. He gave me the world. The keys. They gave me, the galaxy gave me the keys to the world. Dude. Here you go. Well, well, what, what, what door do I open? It's never going to be mine unless I claim it, okay? That's what, that's what leaders do. You claim your land. Nobody's gonna give it to me because they don't want to give it to me. So once I get, once I claim it, they know they're gone. Nobody on this world that you're living on right now, you're standing on your feet, is gonna stay here unless I agree to it. I guarantee, I promise you that. Okay? And there's a lot of people I would have let slide, make it because I have so much love. All, I have, all I've been out there screaming is, is respect and love, respect and love. All I want to do is love and rub, love and rub. You're gonna know. All I want to do is love and rub. I am a god. <laughs> you know that? I have God in me. I am a God. I am the love God. That's what they call me, the love God. And up, in the, up in the universe, they seen all my pains and cries. Because see, I cry, man. I, I cry because I bleed. I bleed because I have a heart. The most purest, purest heart than anybody in the world. I'm not, I'm, I'm not lying. I'm not making this stuff up. I would hope that, that something happens or whatever. Or whatever would be like, okay, well, wait, we need to stop because this guy's getting a lot of information. You want to challenge me or whatever? Don't challenge me with no bullshit, okay? I'm not a bullshit. I'm a straight up person, okay? And that, and that's how this world's gonna run. You know, if you're a fake person, I don't want you here. If you have any current cru intentions, I don't want you here. I have the ability to hold your hands and I'll know whether you're sincere or not. And if you're lying to me, you're, you're insincere, you're not gonna stay here. That's, that's, that's not a warning, that's a promise. Because I'm tired of the hate, I'm tired of the hurt. That's all I've done on my whole child life. I'm not going into too much more detail about that either. Oh, yeah. But I am definitely, I've been, I've been screaming, screaming and pleading for respect. And now I'm gonna start demanding it, okay? And, and, and I would never have done that had I not gone through this last week and a half. Because there's certain people that I still thought, oh no, you know, yeah, they, you know, okay. No, dude, I'm done. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saving anybody anymore like that, okay? What I am gonna do is I'm gonna save the people that they have a belief that this is a promise. That they have a belief that there is, you don't have to die. That's a, that's a nice thing. That's a beautiful, beautiful thing about all this. You do not have to die to stay here and, and, and enjoy the promised land. I have, I have the, the techniques. 
have the information, have everything you need to be really comfortable. And this is forever and ever and ever. This is forever and ever and ever. Your body, in its own person, is made to live up to 800 years. 800 years. But because of the because of the filth here and the pollutions and everything we have, you might get lucky to last 80 years. About the average, I think it's 75 to 80 years. About the average lifespan on this on this earth. We have all of the capability. Any disease, sickness that you have right now to cure you in four days. Four days. Four days. Four days. Cancer cured four days. Anything, any any disease that would kill you, any any disease period, your whole body can cleanse in four days. I promise you. Don't believe me? That's fine. I don't want you. I don't want you here. I don't want your filth here. Okay? I don't want any filth here. This is the promised land. This is the land that I get to enjoy. And you know why I get to enjoy it? Because I've done this stuff. And all I've wanted to do is scream. Hug, hug love and rub. Hug love and rub. Respect. Like I said, I've screamed for it, I've asked for it, I've begged for it, for respect and uh, and even honor, you know what I mean? Now I'm honored because they call me they call me the universal warrior. Whenever I defeated some of these challenges, I looked at Archangel Michael, because he, he's the one that gave me some of this stuff, okay? He's the one that gave me that, finished driving from the ashes. Yeah, he gave me that. I earned that. I just said, okay, you know, they, they give me the world. I'm like, okay, well, where do we go next? Where do we go next? Listen. All right, I'm, I'm asking him, Michael, where do we go next? What do we do next? He, he looked at me and goes, ain't nobody made it this far. He goes, we're not following you, sir. What? And it still took me a while to get that, you know what I mean? And I, and I still get lost for a minute. I'm like, you know, please, please, you know, where, where, where do I go? Where do I go? And they're like, you're writing a book. <laughs> I am God. God is if then me. Y'all don't understand that. It's okay. You're going to. I'm the love God. I'm the God of possibility. I'm the God of dreams. I'm the God of, of the, the impossible. Whatever you want to call it. That's in me. Anything that has anything to do with beauty, love, respect, kindness, caring. I'm a warrior, man. I'm your warrior. I'm a warrior, and I'm still getting treated like shit, man. I'm, I'm considered the, the, the most graceful warrior in the whole universe, man. Whole universe. And they want me up there so bad. I'm a, I'm a seer. I'm a seer. Is what I am. I'm a seer. Well, I don't even know what that fuck a seer is, but it's bigger than the world. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm the element of fire on this world, and I conquered wind or air. So I'm element and air, and I don't know who my water is, but I'm looking for you because I need to get wet. <laughs> I think I am, dude. I, I know, I know, I know, I know. This is my world. I know it is. Maybe, and, maybe you're like the average or something. Well, what they told me is because I defeated Satan. Satan was my was my yang to my yin. So that I overcome that. So I, I'm an omega yin and yang, and there ain't nobody else on the planet like me. Okay, I'm telling you that. I promise you that. I mean, you can look it up. It's in the stars. You can take my blood. I have a certain DNA or something in my blood that will tell you who I am. I'm not gonna just let anybody poke me. I'm not let anybody do certain things to me, but. Right people will come to me. They'll put the right people in my path. I just want to read this. I want to close out. I'm going to read two things to y'all. This is very important, and, and I have a hard time reading because I have lazy eye in this eye. So I've struggled my whole life with reading. It took me a while to get, get where I am, okay? Um, because of that, I have it's kind of like an ADD thing where it doesn't register, so I have to read it a couple of times. And, and I've been writing all this stuff while I'm driving, okay? So it's not the best writing either, okay? Have a reprint, I'll be able to read it a little bit better and understand it better. Um, right, so it's in regards to personal, uh, in regards to personal or spiritual growth, okay? Phoenix, of ri the Phoenix okay? Personal or um, spiritual growth. Phoenix rising from the ashes, okay? Um, can represent the letting go of the old. Okay, then this is important, y'all, because this is why I'm trying to tell y'all. It's letting go of the old, okay? It's scary, okay? I know. But it's something that has to happen. And the old is the old ideas, okay? Letting go of the old. You look up the, you look up your own definition of it, and you, you're gonna come up, it's gonna show you this, okay? Face of the horizon is letting go of the old ideas, old beliefs, old ways. And it's very important, okay? But I don't make this shit up, it came to me, right? Um and always being. Some things that must occur for the real change to take place in our human experience. Okay? Everybody's going to go through this. Oftentimes change is painful when what we were known to be true. See what I mean? It's, you've been lied to. Everybody has. Your whole existence. Your whole family existence. There's only a 1% that may know the truth. <laughs> Little jabbers, boys. Okay. So what you know is no more. 
because the truth is being told. Winston motherfucking Cave is telling it. <laughs> I'd say that. That's how I'm being known. Um, it is uh, a feeling that hurts. Hurt. Uh, hurt has a cure. Uh, hurt has occurred. And here we get into the death of rebirth. Manifestor, something must die. So in order, in order to try to recreate something, something has to die. To make room for the new things to rise and take its place. Keeping the phoenix symbol in mind can assist as when we are tempted to That's what I'm saying. I don't know these words, man, because I'm not, I'm just riding. I don't know something. Something here in is bad, bad or wrong. Okay. That's pretty much it. It's just about it's about rebirth. It's about rebirth. It's about it's about the change in the world. That like, you know, change is change is going to be hard for everybody. And and being told the truth about something is going to be even harder because what your truth is. In your head isn't the truth that you've been the truth that you've been raised in, raised in is not the truth. Okay, the truth the truth of it all is coming to you right now, and and it's gonna hurt y'all because it's never been about black or white. It's never been about uh, brown, whatever color you are, whatever race you are. It's never been about that. The whole purpose of all that different races was so that you could learn different ways of life around the world. It was it was a benefit for y'all. It was a benefit for you to be able to go over here to China and see how they see how they do do things and learn their way of life, learn their heritage. Go over here to, to Africa and learn their learn their way of life. That was, it. That was the only purpose of, of different uh, races. It had nothing to do with where it's been now. You know, there was different ethnic ethnicities. Is that how you say? How do you pronounce that? Eth ethnicities, whatever. There's different ways of people. That it was just different environments, different way of living. Back then, you know, everybody had their own way. They taught each other. Okay. Now we're in a different world. You got TV, you got internet, and everything. So everybody's kind of doing some of the same things. However, I want y'all to know that it is now time to get back to where we need to be. Okay. And that's one. And I know that hard for people to believe, but. It was always meant to be one. And that's where we're gonna go back to now. Now whether you want to or not, that's okay. If you don't want to, you're not gonna be welcome here, okay? It, it, you're not, and then there's no, and, and like I said, I've already told God, at my experiences this week, that I want, uh, I'd rather him just flood the whole, whole earth. Let me just handpick a few people that, that really, that I can feel that, that are worth it, and then do it, you know what I mean? Because it'd be a lot easier, okay? But that's not gonna happen because I done chose this job. <laughs> so, uh, and I want the forever land, you know what I mean? Um, I don't want my life to be over right now, you know? And, and I've been guaranteed forever, everlasting life, whether it's here or there. And so, it's just kind of hard to, uh, it's hard to get everything, and my writing sucks, so bear with me, and I'm nervous, you know what I'm saying? But, here's your Lord's Prayer, okay, in Matthew 6, verse 9 through 13, okay? Um, our Father who aren't in heaven, okay, who aren't in heaven. It's very important. Our Father who aren't in heaven. I'm right here. I'm right here. He, he, he is within me. We are one. I have our Father, my spirit, or my, my soul, and the Holy Ghost. They, they live right here. They, this is their home. Right here. This is me. Our Father who aren't in heaven. How would be thy name? My name. That would be my name. The kingdom come, that will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Also forgive us of our debts. Very important. These things are going to change in a good biblical way for all of you. Please forgive us of our debts, as we have forgiven our debtors. Very important. Very important. New part, new, a whole new prayer for you. My prayer to you guys, my gift to you guys, everyone of you, forgive us for our debts as we forgive our debtors. Keep saying that, keep saying that, because that's what's going to happen. And if you can't live with it, you're not going to have anything you're not welcome to, okay? You're not going to put up with it, tired of it. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I love you all. And, uh,
as the story gets out more and more, I just want your I just want your support at this point. You know what I mean? Just support me. You know, if you think I need help, I'm, you know, I'm crazy or whatever, I'm crazy, so you're gonna see all my videos and stuff like that. But just know it's for a good reason. And I'm gonna leave it at that. God bless y'all and I love y'all. And uh, I hope you make it through it. Because if you don't, <laughs> you know what I mean? I ain't do anything else for you, I'm sorry. I'm tired of it, man, I'm, I'm worn out. I'm worn out, I'm tired, I wanna have fun. I, I wanna be able to relax and have fun, and I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of, I'm tired of screaming, I'm tired of screaming, man. I'm tired of the cops following me. I'm tired of them putting their hands on me for no reason. All I did is warn them. You know, don't come towards me. I'm not made to be governed. My father told me I could, I could, I could erase anybody off this world that I want, and they still want to come in because I, oh, that's a threat. No, dude, that's a promise, and they know it. Go ahead. You got questions? Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like, All right, I'm out. <laughs> You're like, no, you ain't. <laughs> uh, man, what's your plans for the future? My plan is just uh, to be able to relax, relax and have fun, dude, forever and ever. I mean, I, I mean, being a role of the role of the world. I'm gonna have to have people work for me, but um, it's gonna be very hard, man, to, to be able to pick those people out. And I, I know that, um, that I have a lot of power above that's gonna help me with that. And they're gonna guide me in the right direction and tell me if you're an organization that is needed on this world, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna, they have the whole list there, and they're gonna say, okay, well, here's your list. Out of this hundred people, there's ten of them that are good. That's all I mean. I don't need ten people because that's how many people I'm gonna stay. I, you know, out of the people that they're orchestrating, they might be, you know, they may have two thousand, two thousand people, but. Out of their list, they're probably only going to have 100 people to stay. You know what I'm saying? Because it's that bad. Um, the, this world is that bad, and, and people have fed into greed and evil is that bad that you're not going to be here. You're not going to be here. <laughs> so there's going to be a lot less people needed for that. Okay. Uh, you mentioned people following you. Who do you think that is? Well, I mean, I, I've been told CIA. Uh, Probably uh, the other ones that are, is it, uh, I don't know. I don't care at this point. I know uh, there's, I've got hits on me. I mean, you think about it, okay, if, if you were 1% and you had $30 billion or $1 trillion in your account, how much money would you spend to kill someone like me? I mean, well, let's see, I got a trillion dollars right now in my account. I've already, they've already tried to kill me. You know what I mean? That's the thing. That's what I'm trying to say. They've been warned, dude. If they, got, if I, if I, if they had a trillion dollars in their account and they know as soon as I take over power that they're no longer going to have that trillion dollars. How much is worth them to get rid of me to try to keep that trillion? I would say probably half of it, right? Or, or uh, you know, a billion of it, what, two billion, three billion? Dude, I mean, the hit on me is is as big as you, is as big as the planet. You know what I'm saying? Thing is, is they don't know is that my people can go back and forth in the future. And so if you got if you got that temptation, you think you're going to do something to me? It ain't going to happen because they're going to go in the future and they're going to erase you. So. Test me, do what you gotta do. I don't care at this point. I'm not running from you. I'm not running from you. I'm gonna come out, I'm gonna come out, I'm gonna come out strong. So, that's really it. Uh, what is your thoughts on Caveman News? I don't have any, I don't have any, I don't have any, but nobody, anybody, Caveman News, any of that stuff are not my pages, okay? okay. I don't endorse anybody, anybody's page but my own page. And that's Cave, uh, Winston underscore Cave on Instagram. It's Winston underscore Cave. That's my, that, that one, and I have another one that's Winston. Um, caveman underscore promotions with a Z. Caveman underscore promotions with a Z. Those are my only two pages that I currently have active. Any other page I do not promote. Now there are some other pages that promote me in a decent way, but Caveman News is not is not a good one. I'll tell you that right now. I put some false stuff out there, and I begged them, asked them to take that off there, and they thought it was cute and stuff like. That. I have nothing to hide. I'm an honest person. You want to ask me an honest question? I'll tell you an honest answer. Okay, you're gonna see some stuff that you ain't gonna believe. I've had to go through the stuff that I had to go to so that I can stand up and not judge you on your faults. Okay, that's really what learning is. I had, I had to go through certain things in my life to not judge somebody for their faults. Just because they love the Lord, they're good people doesn't mean that. But our government didn't put these things in front of you to make you look bad. You see what I'm saying? Think about it. You're not here to judge anybody. You take care of yourself. The moment you start judging somebody, you need to go back and look in the mirror and take care of yourself. You're not here to judge anybody. I'm the judge, not you. Straight up. In one sentence, what would you say to the world? I'm going to tell you right now, just in one sentence, what I would say is that if you have any belief or hope that, that that there is something better than what you're living in right now, because I did, I've always had my belief. Actually, I pray, I pray to them, telling them that this is the world that, that, that this is this is the world. I, I mean, we've been living it. You've been living in hell. This is hell, guys. I mean, there is no other place to go. This is hell. And I knew that. I knew that. It took me a while to get get that. It's not hell for certain people. Okay, <laughs> certain people they've had their way. 
This is hell that you're living in. If you have any belief at all, there's a better place. There is. You have to do the work. You have to, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to follow somebody. You're either gonna follow somebody off of this existence or you're gonna follow somebody into the paradise. Okay? And that's what it is. Tell me it's, 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 it's forever paradise. Now those are some wise words from Winston Cave. <laughs> those are some <laughs> wise words from Winston Cave. If you guys made it all the way to the end of the video, I definitely appreciate it. I'll keep you guys updated on the situation of Winston Cave and why he's at the medical center. I'm pretty sure we all know why. Methamphetamine, withdrawals, and whatever other substances he was on. For now, Winston remains off the streets in Fort Worth, hopefully away from endangering anybody else.